Uh, Jamal Massey was saying, fingers crossed that they get a dry qualifying today. Well, these are the, the combined practice times. No change from what you saw at the beginning. Tatai and Ricardo Rossi in 25th place. Barry Bouters. Well, steering warm to Austria, but it certainly played into the hands of those who went fastest yesterday. Not appearing to be dry, but have we already got our top 10 automatically through escape? That looks like we're going to see quite a lot of uh, rain tire action from Mitchell victory what six days ago now brad binder's brilliance in bruno there's polis it's now on alex marquez's bike as well and they've got i haven't seen before this morning they've got a new brake disc on the rear that i've never seen before andre davizioso's future rests firmly in the hands of gigi delinia he calls the shots and probably a bit higher up as well claudio domenicali what i found interesting in conditions is this man michaeli piero he was fourth in that rain hit valent bike which i quote would have helped us in bruno will be good for tomorrow meaning today and will be good for the future i tried to dig out what it was i even went to see joanne sticker felt he wouldn't say anything about it so who knows carty it does lack that bit of top speed on the long straights here but they can make up for it on corner entry with their brilliant braking stability and their corner speed so alec on pole here one week ago sorry in bruno so he'll be going for glory again Special collision with uh, a few days ago he said he went to talk to him uh, not to apologize because he didn't think he'd done anything too wrong he wanted to express his regret heroics yesterday by his mechanic stuart miller if you joined us yesterday where he tried to do that practice bike swap for a potential flag to flag race i mean frank and morbidelli got it horrendously wrong he was all over the place all over the shop and it was a brilliant double it's it's a major major worry yeah binder just runs in hot at the top of the hill into turn three yeah, Petrucci has been uh, caught struggling a little bit, hasn't he, with this new extra grippy Michelin rear tyre. Pushes the front into the corners. He said, just by being out on circuit with the wet tyres, they are creating more of a dry line. And at the end of this session, if the sun were to come out, you just never know. Yeah, remember that Valencia Grand Prix then in 2018, Steve? One of the strongest riders was... Always a bit tricky, and uh, we know that uh, he's... Uh... He has skill enough, he has skill enough to, to be fast in this condition. So we prefer to, to wait for with him and uh, let's see if uh, dry up a bit uh, during the session. The track uh, without uh, riding here since uh, uh, 2015. Any new information or pretty much what he put on social media? The moment he gets uh, physiotherapy every day, twice a day, he's, he's working really, really hard to be back. Uh, as much as, pos as, much as uh, yeah, possible in, uh, in Mizan. Thank you. Yeah, thanks very much. It seems to be in a sort of different way here in Austria. It felt slightly more manageable over long distance. Yeah, what he said as well was, Steve, that he can actually, he's not running out of strength and power as quickly as what he was yeah. back in Jerez. The, the clear the future for the man Simon's grabbed in pit lane right now. Anaya Bastianini, Simon. Yeah, guys, I saw Anaya here, and I know it's not too critical a time out there with these conditions, so I thought I'd ask the man who's so on form in Moto... Portuguese rider yesterday was buzzing uh, in the TV set after day one. He said that we wanted to... Uh, save some wets as well but he's going to feel really fast despite issues with the front lever yesterday which was making my, me quite inconsistent in the braking for most of 2020 and uh, he admitted he, he feels really loose a real big psychological lift after what's been a, a tricky start i think it's fair to say to his first full season in motor gp hasn't yet seen the checkered flag in all. not very often in fabio quattararo's blossoming motor gp career have we found him languishing at the wrong end of the time sheets at this stage of a free practice session regardless of the conditions at the moment quattararo's down in 20th place I mean, proving very unreliable you just can't predict what's going to happen up here in the step out leaning right obviously you know and you've got to open that throttle to get a good run but you're going over a brow you know over a hill so that throws the front up and normally to keep the front on the ground you keep it leaning right you know or leaning over Toraro out there on a, another set of soft michelin wet tires down in last place at this uh, present time yeah, there was such a, a dry line emerging as well an association meeting here on thursday where yamaha are believed to have requested that they uh, open 
uh, their engines to try and uh, resolve an issue on safety grounds. That one's going to murmur on because in heading out on circuit. Lap times, 32s, we're still eight seconds off the fastest dry time. So as it stands right now, it seems quite unlikely that it would be dry enough to be able to be on the front end, squeeze the front brake a bit too much, the rear kicked out and down he went to two. But it does look like it's all starting to go in the right direction for the number 73. Felt like it could have... Here is uh, Fabio Quattuaro. Looks like he's making a B liberation that it would be a big, big ask for either of those to Davizio. So, and you wonder, don't you, if the decision's already been made? Yeah, what Davide Tardopsi stressed as well yesterday, Steve, was that the decision will be taken immaterial of what happens at these two Red Bull ring races. Well, he said it's not a result so stand to be taken. Quite a significant pay cut, which we understand the Catty want to enforce on him. We're looking at the screen, they're kind of waiting for the right time, I think, lap time to. to, to believe oh, and a 31035 for Davizioso. Those guys who were in the top 10 yesterday morning are actually praying that it's not going to be dry enough <laughs> right now to uh, have a good crack at this. So yeah, yeah. as it stands then, on each time he's come out on the losing side, unfortunately. So where's Alex Mark? On a bit of info, I've been given by Jack Gorst, our workmate back in Barcelona watching the TV. He uh, sent me a clip that looks like Fabio is... Okay, that's it. They'll have seen enough now. Fastest time on slicks, then a 30.038 for Alex Marquez. He's only five seconds off his fastest time set. Now, I've got a feeling that they're going to be getting very, very... 130.038 as Bradley Smith goes second. Marquez and Smith were the first two men to switch over to slick rubber in this session. Is it a 28 from Alex Marquez? It is. A 128.576. So... He's gone two point wide, Quattararo on circuit here with 12 minutes to go. I think he's probably going to lose a, a touch of time behind Fabio as well as he powers past the Yamaha like it stood yeah. still. Way, way quicker than Fabio Quattararo, wasn't he? Coming through turn seven and eight. In the top ten overall, Miguel Oliveira's crossed the line. He's up in the top five now. Some parts of the guy's just gone fifth, actually. Crutchlow was third quickest now on the Honda. Not quite able to break into the 27s, but close. This is Quattararo then, he's still tracking Davizioso up ahead. This is going to drag him along to a time inside the top five. Davizioso's into pit lane, some brand new tyres will be slung into that again shortly. In sector two, and his teammate Petrucci now goes into second place. Has never finished off the podium here at the Red Bull Ring. It was heartache in 2016 when he had to yield to uh, his teammate Andrea Iannone, who was Ducati's first winner in six long years. Dobby the now into the 25s. 125. Turn nine and turn ten. So it'll be another 125 for Dobby, and he'll take another couple of tenths off. This is where a wise old head and the vast experience really comes to the fore, doesn't it, on this rapidly drying circuit. Andrea Di Vizioso needed to get into Q2, and there's still just under seven minutes of the session remaining. So it can be done, clearly.